Hey, what's going on, world? It's me again, Ethan Smith, a.k.a. Mr. Pink, Daily Dose, Positive Post, man. Anything you start, be sure to finish. Any door that you open, be sure to make sure you close that door behind you, man. I started a developmental math class since I was so weak in math here at the college, right? Once I decided that I was going to relocate back to Texas and be closer to my family and be in a place where I feel more comfortable and where I feel happier at, I decided that it was time to transfer schools. But in transferring schools, I found out that that developmental math class that I started, whether I get an A in this class or I get an F in this class, it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't transfer over to my next university. But it does mean something to me. It means since I opened that door, I stepped through that door, and I started that process to math, I must finish this process to math. Now, I could have dropped the class a couple of days ago, but then when you start to leave things behind, you start to drop things, and you start to quit things, it gives you an excuse for quitting things. Well, I take that back. It gives me an excuse. See, I was a person that quit things before, and anything I start, I must finish. Any door I open, I must close. Well, what do I mean by that? When I was a child, there were some doors that opened that I had no control over. It was some things that hurt that happened in my life that hurt me. And I never closed those doors, meaning that I never dealt with them. I never seek help, internal help. I had parents send me to see therapists, but I still never talk about what was really on my mind. So those doors to my childhood stayed open. Those doors to my childhood kept me in bondage. The doors that I opened to broken relationships kept me in bondage. They stayed wide open for things to pass in and out of them. And my spirit man wasn't a healthy man because I had things passing in and out of doors that was constantly left open. I was constantly quitting things. So what I decided to do was I had to return to Michigan. I had to face the things of my past. I had to face the broken relationships. I had to close those doors in order to step into a new life and open new doors. And in stepping into that new life, I understood that anything that I start, I must finish. So whether I pass or fail a developmental math class, I pass because I finish. I finish the process. And in order to get to success, you must finish the process, no matter how hard or difficult the process may be, man. You must finish the process and all that you do. So anything you start, you must finish. Any door you open, you must close. The doors of my childhood were left wide open. It took me till I was almost 40 years old to begin to close those doors. The reason why I didn't close those doors, because going back through those doors opened up some old wounds and opened up a lot of hurt and pain. But what I didn't know, those old wounds that I thought I reopened, they never actually closed. I just carried them with me. So anything that you start, you must finish. And know that forgiveness and moving on is never for the other person. It's for you. It's internal, not external. Anything you start, you must finish. Any door that's open, you must be man enough or woman enough to be willing to close those doors behind you. It's your boy, Ethan Smith, a.k.a. Mr. P, man. Have a blessed day. I'm out.